today we're talking about the brand new cinema lenses from Viltrox for the Sony E-mount. I have all three of them right here, the brand new 23mm, 33mm, and 56mm T1.5 cinema lenses. Now at the moment these are only out for the Sony E-mount and their crop sensor lenses, so you can only use these with the Sony A5000, A6000, and Sony NEX line. So these are basically equivalent to a 35mm, a 50mm, and an 85mm. Now quick disclaimer before I get started. Viltrox did send me these lenses for free in return for a review on my channel. However, they didn't tell me to say anything specific about these just to give an honest review. So if I wanted, I could say these are the worst lenses I've ever used. They're definitely not. They're actually really good lenses. But I just want to clarify that everything I say in this video is 100% my opinion. Also, if you wouldn't mind going down, hitting the like button and subscribing, it would really help on my channel, help me make more videos like this in the future. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. So first things first, all three of these lenses are basically the same size and very similar besides the focal length. So they're all going to be the exact same dimensions. They're very similar weights, ranging from 500 grams to 540 grams. They all have 62 millimeter filter threads with the same slip-on caps. They're all T1.5, which is probably about equivalent to F1.4, and they all stop all the way down to T16. The aperture rings and focus gears are in the same position on all three of them, so if you have a follow focus, it'll be really easy to just put it right back in the same spot when you swap your lenses out. These lenses have 14 aperture blades for really smooth and round bokeh. They're made completely out of metal and glass and the build quality is very solid. And last but not least, all these lenses are fully manual. So there's no electronic connections, there's no autofocus, there's no electronically controlled aperture, there's no image stabilization, none of that. They're completely manual lenses. So I've had these lenses for a few weeks now, and I was actually able to take them on a video shoot with my Sony FS7 last week. And so in this video, I'm not gonna show just test footage with these lenses. I'm actually gonna show a real world video shoot that I use these lenses on, and give my honest opinions on them after using all three of them on a professional video shoot. Actually, one last thing before we get into the specs, these lenses cost $415 each. And so that is a really, really good price, especially for purposely built cinema lenses with full metal build qualities, metal lens caps, that are all built to be the exact same size with the same focus ring placements at that price point as long as they perform well these are like arguably the best budget cinema lenses you can get for video however that all depends on the performance of these and how they actually work so let's get right into that so when it comes to sharpness all these lenses are a little soft wide open at t1.5 but they sharpen up quite a bit once you stop down to t2 and they keep sharpening up once you get to t2.8 and then by t4 they're basically tack sharp now moving on to chromatic aberration, that's where I kind of noticed a little more of an issue with these lenses. So on the video shoot that I went on in some different shots, it's really, really noticeable. And I didn't even shoot any of this wide open. These were all at between T2 and T4. And the chromatic aberration is pretty noticeable and pretty bad. Especially if you crop into the shot at all, it'll really amplify it. Now I've noticed that is the case with other Viltrox lenses I've used in the past. And I'm guessing it just comes from the fact that they can't use super high quality glass because they're trying to keep these lenses on the budget side. So I completely understand understand why there's a lot of chromatic aberration and why they couldn't make these lenses perfect. However, definitely keep that in mind if you're considering purchasing these. Next up is focus breathing. So this is something that if they can eliminate focus breathing on this low of a budget with these lenses, that's something that is really revolutionary because almost all lenses have a huge focus breathing issue, except for really expensive, purpose-built cinema lenses. And so on their website, Viltros claims they got rid of focus breathing, there's no focus breathing at all. And after doing some testing, I was blown away by how little focus breathing there is. It's definitely the lowest focus breathing I've noticed in any lenses that I've personally used. However, I haven't really used many purpose-built cinema lenses. It looks really good because you never want to have it zooming in and out as you focus. Now, when racking focus from all the way from one side all the way to the other, you can definitely notice there is some focus breathing. But I can definitely say, you know, if you're moving the camera, if you're panning it and doing stuff while focusing, you're probably not going to notice the focus breathing at all. And I'm really happily surprised about this. All in all, I think there's really just no competition out there right now. If you have a crop sensor, Sony camera, and you're looking for cinema lenses, these are definitely the ones that I would recommend. The build quality is amazing. The aperture and focus rings are very smooth. They're all the exact same size and almost the same weight, 
with the same placement of focus and aperture rings, the same filter thread size of 62 millimeters. And as a set of all three of these, the only thing you'd maybe need is a little bit of a wider lens. So if they released a 24 millimeter, this would basically be a full set that you'd really ever need. So if you have a crop sensor Sony camera, you're looking to getting into filmmaking, or you just want cinema lenses, but you don't really take many photos or you don't need autofocus, definitely check these out. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you wanna buy them. They were just released, so I think they're still on pre-order, but definitely put your order in now to get them as soon as possible. And besides that, that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Go down to the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video.